right, what's going on, guys? Now, this is Nick. This will be my first review ever on YouTube. Never done a review on anything. I've done a couple videos. Nothing too, nothing too exciting. Mountain bike video, some car stuff, whatever. But I did want to get into a little review on these boots here. These are the Scarpa Kinesis Pro boots. They are heavy duty hiking boot, uh, full new buck leather, awesome sole. Look at a sweet Vibram sole on them with a dual density poly midsole. So super comfortable, super high quality. It's going to last a long time. Uh, I have no doubts about that. Let's see. Let me see. We're just, all right, I already got into the sole, so I guess we'll just move it up to the rubber rand here. This rubber rand that goes across the whole boot, on the whole, uh, around the whole boot, anyway, um, is awesome feature. I wish all the boots, after having this one, I've never had a boot with a full rubber rand. In fact, I've never had a boot that was quite this hardcore, period. Um, but I've never had one with this rubber rand on it, and in my experience, I won't probably get another dedicated hiking boot without one uh, especially if it's leather or yeah if, if definitely if it's leather I mean it helps protect the leather and I mean it's just an awesome feature for that because you get a lot of sticks that come stabbing up when you when you're walking you may be walking on some rocks and you you'll slip down the edge of a rock and it's gonna hit this nice heavy uh, thick rubber rand they call it um, Totally, it's gonna protect your your leather. It's gonna, it's awesome. I really don't know what else to say about it, but it's awesome, man. All right, so then we got a uh, new buck leather that's about one, almost one whole piece. It almost looks like it is one piece, except for maybe the back here. Uh, but just by design, by design alone, this this boot is 100% waterproof. Uh, it's got a you know waterproof leather design uh, but just for added protection it's got it's fully lined with Gore-Tex so dude it's never gonna you're never gonna have wet feet N at least not be not because of uh, water from the outside maybe from your sweaty feet but that's a different story uh, moving up we got this pretty much amazing lacing system I've never seen anything like it it's amazing on these boots. It's got these six pulleys here. Uh, you can just cinch down like crazy and with ease with this pulley system. You can just see it. I mean, check out these shoelaces, or the boot laces. Watch them moving. Just easy. Not only that, but you got an awesome heel lock right here on both sides, obviously. Um, and that just locks it in so well. So you can totally customize the bottom tightness of uh, your boot and then, you know, do whatever you got to do up here. Have it looser, tighter, vice versa, wh you know, whichever you like. Hey. Dogs. Hey, shut it. Freaking dogs. All right. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just amazing. The only thing I will say about the the system is that it may or may not mess with the shoe the boot laces a little bit um, that is about the only thing I've had problems with I mean you can kind of see here it, it's hard to tell but it kind of binds up a little bit Coda stop kind of binds up a little bit I don't know if it's because of the little pulley system here and maybe that kind of messes with the the lace design but it's kind of annoying when you undo your laces to treat your boots which I'll get to that in a second too um, these dogs drive me nuts I got one dog trying to herd the other anyways uh, so that's my only gripe about this which not even the I don't really think unless that really is because of the the pulley system that's causing this. I mean, just get a different boot lace, I guess. That's what I'm going to eventually do. Uh, because that's kind of just 
it's starting to deteriorate a little bit, starting to fray up. And like I say, I don't know if it's because of this or maybe it's just a cheap boot lace. Who knows? Um, but anyways, besides that, it's got all pretty much almost a full gusseted tongue. Uh, it helped keep that scree, I think they call it, maybe. I don't know, it's like sticks and twigs and dirt, whatever, out of your boot. Um, that's cool. I don't really, I mean, it, you want it anyways for waterproof protection and for the scree stuff too, but I always couple my boot with a set of nice gaiters. This would be the Outdoor Research brand gaiter that I use with these. Um, I can do a different review on this if anyone's interested, but they're water resistant. I think they say they're waterproof, but I would probably just say they're water resistant. I don't know how they're waterproof with Velcro. Maybe. M maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But uh, this, you put these on there, forget, you don't even need to worry about the gusseted tongue. Because this cinches down right around this boot so well. It keeps everything out, including snow, sticks, and water. I've accidentally fallen through the ice on a small creek. Uh, that we were walking across. This is actually last weekend. And I fell through the ice. I got it on video. Maybe I'll just roll it in. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, fell right through. Maybe the water was about mm, 18 inches deep. And to it definitely went probably up to about there. My pants, my boots, my feet, everything was dry. Uh, I wouldn't stand in the water with even with these on you know they're not that's why I say they're water resistant but uh, I mean if I didn't have these gaiters on and I had done the same thing with just my pants draped over the water would have definitely gone up into my pants and down into my boot and it was oh man what was it I don't know low twenties with the ridiculous uh, South Dakota wind it was a windy day. I think it was 50 mile an hour winds gusting up to 60 or 80. You can hear the wind right now. I mean, it's never, it's, it seems like it's always windy here. Still love it here. Anywho, get sidetracked. Uh, it's got a full, full Gore-Tex line. It's got some Scarpa Active Fit technology little in, little pad in here insole whatever it's pretty I think it's good well just leave it at that I mean I don't have any issues with it it's comfortable I don't have any weird pressure points from this boot um, let's see they do weigh about 4.3 pounds heavy no doubt about that but you know you get what you there's there's always gonna be some trade-offs if you want something light and I've been there with like a Merrill sh hiking shoe where you can take it and roll the sole up into a ball and you want to hike around with that with 30, 40, 50 pounds on your back maybe even more depending on how much gear you like to bring with you but you know try hiking backpacking deep you know for for hours rock, walking on rocks and you know sticks and it's just brutal it's very fatiguing for the bottom of your foot and at the end of the day, and you take your shoes off, you're just like, God, freaking feet are killing me. But no, not with these dang things. The sole on these are so freaking stiff, which is definitely something you got to get used to. But trust me, it's pretty much amazing. Um, it is definitely a little bit of a learning curve walking up and downhill, especially uphill. Walking downhill, I love it, with a heavy pack on especially. Walking uphill is, you kind of, it's definitely a different, it's a calf workout pretty hard because the sole so damn stiff, but I wouldn't go back either way. Not for, not when it comes to backpacking with a heavy load. So, let's see. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, this boot either. It looks pretty much, it looks brand new almost compared to this one on the left. Uh, I treated this one just last night with uh, some snow seal shebang it's eight bucks at shields I got this one I'm sure you can get it pretty much any outdoor place 
Uh, I usually treat these boots probably every three to four hikes. You can tell when, it, when they need a good treating if uh, you're hiking in any kind of wet condition and it, the water like soaks into the leather um, and leaves like a wet spot. That doesn't mean that it's not waterproof anymore, but it just means that, you know, uh, to me it just means that, hey, it needs to be treated. And the reason why you should treat it with something like this is because it's going to increase the longevity of your leather. Not that these things really need that. They're probably going to last forever anyways. But, I mean, you can see. And besides that, just for pretty, the pretty factor or the handsome factor. Uh, this boot looks phenomenal. I've had them for a while. And when you treat them with this stuff, it's like they're brand new again. And I totally rock these just casually too. Just went to help the break-in procedure, which is kind of long. Um, that's why I wore, when I first bought them, I was wearing them all over the place because I think they look nice and because you want to anyways, to help get that break in. You don't want to go out with these the day you buy them, go out on a long, heavy backpacking trip because, well, for one, you're not going to be used to it and it's got a pretty, um, the leather just needs to be broken in a little bit, um, uh, because they're pretty damn stiff out the box, right out the gate. Let me see if I missed anything here. Blah, blah, blah. Lacing in the laces. Snow seal. About a six to eight inches high waterproof. I have tested that out. I've stepped in. I've just stood there in a creek. A, flowing, a pretty heavily flowing creek. And it was probably about five inches deep. My feet have stayed dry. I mean, I've never had a... I don't ever worry about my feet getting wet with these sizing they run a little big I had to I got a half size small because everyone in the reviews were saying that they run a little big so I got a half size small and I know you wanted a little bit of toe space but it was too big uh, you know you don't want your feet all crammed up especially you know when you're going hiking up and downhill you go hiking down here you tend your foot tends to slide in Honestly, I don't have that problem so much with this phenomenal lacing system. It's freaking sweet. Another thing, you got one, you know, eight different lacing points. Uh, pretty much awesome. Anyways, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Shh. Crap, I don't... Man, what the heck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, sizing. Um... Yeah, so they run a little big. I ordered one half size bigger, uh, smaller, sorry, and I had to return it, and I got another half size smaller, and even then it was like just about right, maybe a little on the big side, but I wanted it a little bigger because I want to use these boots all year round. So I want to be able to fit a thick sock in here, and because they're not insulated, so that's something to consider. Although I've hiked in them down in close to single digits, and I haven't had a problem with them until I'm sitting around at a, you know, setting up a, my tent and stuff like that. Then uh, my feet, st my toes start to get a little cold. But that's about it. In the summertime, the the boots breathe really well for their for all the stuff that's going on with them. You'd think they would they wouldn't breathe that good, but they do. Um. So yeah, sizing a little big. And. If there's anything else I want to say about these boots, there I would highly recommend them to anyone who's got the money and is looking for a heavy-duty boot for anything from backpacking to you know hunting, some hunting way in the backcountry or whatever. You know these boots are gonna they're gonna excel in pretty much any environment I can think of. You if you you know if you couple them with a some a nice set of gaiters. I highly recommend these outdoor research gators. I can't remember the model of them. It's, uh, oh, the Verglass. For, I'm probably butchering that name pretty bad. For glass. Uh, but if you couple these boots with an awesome set of gators, that's it. You go wherever you want. I mean, you go on a scuba diving expedition, you'd probably keep your feet dry. I don't know how. Probably would. 
but no, just kidding. But uh, no, I, I totally highly recommend these boots. Um, there's several places you can get them. I don't know if you can get them here in the States at any local store, though. Maybe. But they're pretty much a European thing. Um, I had got them online through Amazon, I think. And I think they're right around 300 bucks. So you may you might think 300 bucks is a lot of money, but think about it. This is gonna last. This should last forever. It just should. Uh, so I don't think you know 300 bucks isn't that bad for something that's gonna last pretty much forever. And the quality that you get with these boots, um, you just I I haven't seen it in any other boot. You know, not for the price. You can go. I've seen some other leather boots, for instance, at Cabela's that were, you know, closing in on five hundred dollars, and they didn't have a a sweet la a lacing system like this. You know, I just I think this is an awesome deal. So, anyways, this is the first review. Hopefully, of many. I got quite a bit of camping gear. My girlfriend and I love to get out, and I'm always videotaping stuff. Just I don't know, this is what I like to do, so maybe now I'll start putting it on, on YouTube if anyone's interested. Uh, and I'll, I can do a little demonstration on how I seal these boots up. It doesn't take very long, it's about maybe 10, 10 minutes per boot maximum, and then the thing looks brand spanking new again. So, anyways, that is the uh, Scarpa Kinesis Pro GTX boot, uh, straight from Italy full-on new buck leather and uh, I hope you guys have a good day and a phenomenal 2016